it up. Not the business. Why you came? <laughs> well, the one thing that we've got to do is we've got to understand that we've got a whole new month, or a whole new year ahead of us. And that January is that month where we start to form our ideas. When we start to form our ideas, these ideas are going to take on an energy. They're going to take on a focus from you. That's your part. You've got to focus on what it is that you want. You've got to start moving in that direction. You will move in that direction if you have a focus. If you don't have a focus, you'll move in other directions and you'll wonder why everybody else in the class is moving in the right direction and you're not moving in that right direction. Because focus is really the bottom line for everything. What you focus on, you draw to you. There are universal laws and principles that are always working. These laws and principles are, they, they're, they're, they're just there. They've been there from the beginning of mankind. The, the ancients, uh, mystics, knew about these, these principles and laws. We're coming into an age where we're understanding that there is a law, that law is the law of cause and effect, and that as we set up a cause, there's always going to be an effect. But the interesting thing is we used to think the cause was out there and the effect was out there. Now we've come to an understanding that the cause starts in the mind, in the thought, the belief, it, it, will, it, it starts in the subconscious idea. It starts in the ancestral beliefs that, been, that have been passed down from one generation to another. It starts in the idea of how we feel about money, how we feel about sex, how we feel about relationship, how we feel about whatever. It is in that unconscious mind. Some of us can bring it up, others of us can't. But it's there, and because the subconscious mind is very powerful, we are always creating from the subconscious level rather than the conscious level. We have to change the thought on the conscious level and set up a new cause to drop it down into the unconscious level and allow the unconscious or spirit to manifest that in our life. Are you with me on that? The law of attraction goes out, and the law of attraction brings back. We're understanding now that our computers are based on the mind. How could we create a magnificent computer and all the other high-tech stuff if our mind couldn't conceive of it, if our mind couldn't comprehend it? And my one thing that I keep doing when I script or when I ask for something or when I put out for something is I see that little search engine. Just like I see that search engine when I go to Google and I start searching for something. And I see that search engine going, to find whatever I'm looking for. I want to know something about some history, or I want to know something about some supplement, or I want to know something about, about somebody. And that search engine will go out, and they, that search engine will find what I'm looking for. It might give me more than one answer. It might give me many answers. So I have to use the spirit of discernment. I've got to check into it and say, this works, this works. Oh, this isn't it, this isn't it, this isn't it. Well, our mind does the same thing. We start to put out for something in a cause. We allow the search engine, God, infinite mind, spirit, to handle the details, to go out to find that for us, to bring it back to us. When it brings it back to us, we use that spirit of discernment to say yes. Or we use that spirit of discernment to say no. And so we start to draw things to us. Conversely, if we are negative in our thinking and we keep thinking lack and limitation and, and poor me and, and I'll never be able to do this and I'll never be able to have this, whatever that negative thought is, that search engine goes out. And it's going to find you that. It's going to find you that. It's going to find you that lack. It's going to find you that limitation. It's going to find you that negative thing. It's going to find that for you. You know why? The search engine doesn't care. Doesn't care. It's just going to go out there and find for you whatever you're putting out for. That's the thing that, that, that confuses us. Because why we go around and we say, well, you know, I've done this and I've done that, so, but, but bad things still happen. Yeah, but look into your mind and see why bad things are still happening. What have been your thoughts? What have been your feelings? What have been your emotions? What have, been, what have been your ideas? What are your ideas? You might say something to someone, and you may put on a very good front, but on the unconscious level, if you're still looking at lack, you're gonna have lack again this year. But if you decide, there's no lack in my life, I'm starting out new, everything is energy, 
I live in the now. Now is all I have. All I have is now. And we recognize that everything is energy. Everything is energy. Everything is vibrating. Everything is a frequency. When we recognize that everything is a frequency, we want to vibrate at a higher frequency, and we vibrate at that higher frequency, and we pull to us what's on the higher frequency. I got a GPS from my kids for Christmas. This thing amazes me. It amazes me. Recalculating. I turn here and turn there, and it recalculates in a second. How does it do that? How does it do that? I, 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 I program in where I want to go, and it takes me. I take a wrong turn, and it just says, recalculate. And I'm testing it. I'm going to take me going a different way. I'm going to test you. And it does. It just knows. It has an infinite mind within it. It knows how to do that. Your mind is the same way. Your mind is the same way. We, don't, we, we really don't value our mind as much as we should. We should all understand that we have this wonderful, wonderful apparatus inside of us. But that apparatus not only works from the brain, it also works from the mind of God. The mind of God, the infinite mind of God, is in you and you and you and you and everybody in this room. Because we are all one. And yet we are individual expressions of the one. I can't do what David can do. David can't do perhaps what I can do. I'm not a massage therapist like Marcy, but I, you know, I, I can put my hands on somebody, but they'd rather go to Marcy. I can't sing like Idella. I, 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 don't, I can't carry that tune, but Idella can. You got something you can do, and you got something inside of you that you want to do. But you sometimes won't even let yourself look at it. You won't even let yourself play with that idea, toy with that idea. Do you know what I'm saying? Some of you want to travel the world, but I don't dare think about that. I don't dare think about that. Or some of you want to write a book, but I, I don't know. I can't write a book. Or some of you want your own TV show. You, somebody, some of you want a marriage, but you don't want to look at that marriage. Or you want something that you don't dare even allow yourself to ask for or look at. You hide it in that unconscious mind. You hide it. And this is the year. This is the year to say, no more. I'm going to let it come out. I'm going to let that search engine go and find it. I'm going to let that search engine go out and find it for me. We were talking about it earlier. I've had quite a lifestyle, quite a lifestyle. And I've traveled all over the world. Traveled all over the world without spending a lot of money on, 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 on airfare. Because I just didn't go for, I'll, I'll get money and then I'll travel. I said, I will travel. And I, don't, I just didn't, I, I guess I was naive. I forgot that you needed money to travel. <laughs> so I didn't go then. And I just put it out. And pretty soon I was traveling. Now, at first I was traveling locally in, in uh, Atlanta and the southeast and, and Hilton Head and, and St. Simon's Island and Jekyll Island and all of those places. But then I said, you know what? I'd like to go further. I'd like to go further. So my intentions took me to England. It took me to China. took me to Thailand. took me to Romania. took me to all these countries and then all the islands and everywhere. And the interesting thing is that I got booked to speak, I got booked to be here, or somebody paid for my way, or it was a gift, or whatever. But you got to dare to put it out there and quit worrying about where is the money going to come from. You spend too much time worrying about money and not enough wor time worrying, uh, being concerned, not worrying, being concerned about ideas. You got to use your ideas. Ideas are what it's all about. You get a new idea. And my goodness, when you get that new idea, you open up a whole new door. Now when that door opens, when that door opens, gang, you gotta walk through it. You gotta walk through it. Now you say, well how do I know if it's the right door? You'll 
find out soon enough. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. So when we, when we open a door, when, when there's something we want, and that door opens, we walk through. If the door doesn't open, wait patiently, will you? One of the things that we've got to learn to do is also learn to wait. Wait and wait. What do you mean, Joyce? I mean that frequently when you want something, it has to be set up on a grand scheme of things. It's not just all about you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's about the all. And if I want something, if I want something, I have to have other players, right? And when I have other players, it's got to benefit them. I can't take something away from you, for me, and leave you stranded. I can't, I can't be selfish. The universe won't let me be selfish when it comes to the law of attraction. So there is no competition. In selling, I teach selling, there's no competition. If you're in the competition when you're sell or trying to sell and use that energy, you don't make the sale. Everything has changed. We're going into, we are not going into, we're into a new way of doing things. Last year was a year of duality. This is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. It was a year of breakdown. It, everything was breaking down. You know, all the banks, a lot of bankruptcies, a lot of businesses, a lot of people without business. A lot of things were going on last year. And, and what we learned to do last year is we learned to just pivot, move in another direction. We learned, we, we kicked and screamed. I, I was, I counseled a lot of you. You kicked and screamed when the money wasn't coming in. You kicked and screamed, but then you pivoted and you went another way. You know, if it was the house or if it was a move or if it was a finances or whatever it was. So what do we got to do? We got to say, okay, I accept the fact that whatever I went through, I didn't like it at the time, but I got to proclaim it good. I got to proclaim it good. You hear me? I have to proclaim it good because if it's not good, you're going to create whatever your idea of it was again. So we say, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm going to say it was good. When I think about my alcoholism, I was an alcoholic for years and years, drunk all the time, you know, falling down, all that stuff, just guzzling. You know what? It was good. And you say, oh, she's crazy. No, because I learned wisdom. I can work with an alcoholic. I can, I can work with somebody. I know they, uh, that they lie a lot. <laughs> I know that. To lie a lot. Do you know that, Bossy? Yeah. <laughs> so you see how smart I am? I'm smart because of it. I got wisdom because of it. You got wisdom because of anything you've gone through. You know how it works. So let's not work it again. I'm not going to take another drink. It's been 30, it's going to be 34 years in February. So I'm not going to take another drink. You know why? Because I don't want one. Because I know what it brings me. I'm not going to go and I'm not going to do the things that I've done in the past because it doesn't benefit me. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the things that benefit me. I had the best, the best year last year. And I, I wrote my new story. You know, I was writing a new, I told you guys you had to write a new story. I wrote my new story. I created prosperity, I created abundance. Even to the last minute, to the last minute, I started boring it in and I got that check today, that check of when I said I wanted unexpected income. Remember that? For unexpected income, they went back 33 years. And I get an insurance. Somebody says, oh, we finally found you. We've been looking for you. And it was 33 years ago. And they said, you have an insurance policy on your name. What do you want to do with it? I said, cash it in. <laughs> cash it in. I got the check today. I don't have a clue who this was with, who had it on me, what it is. 33 years ago, that little search engine went out. <laughs> 
go, okay, 15 years, let's go, 20 years, 30 years, 33 years, bingo. So you see, you don't have to know where, you don't have to know how. All you have to do is put out there. You gotta get more trusting. This is not being naive. This is not being naive. It's start to trust the factor. All right, so last year was a good year. Last year, I, a year ago, I was complaining because I lived in Woodstock. Today I'm saying, I love Woodstock. <laughs> I love Woodstock. I live close to Marcy. I live close to the diner over there. I live close to Donnie's. Seven bucks when I don't have any money. I go there and eat all that canned stuff. <laughs> you know, life is good. Life is good. You see, you can do whatever you want to do. I love Woodstock. So I got over that. I stopped worrying about spending all that money on gas. So what? Uh, the money's gonna come in, it's gonna come in. So I started loving Woodstock. I started, I started scripting for new business. New business started coming. I started scripting for better health. Better health came. I started scripting for 20 pound loss. I lost, I let go of the 20 pounds. I started scripting for all kinds of things. I started scripting that I was getting younger, more beautiful, gorgeous. I started scripting about all these things. And you know what? When you start to script about it, ways are open up for you to do that. You open doors by your scripting. You open up doors. When the doors open up, what do you do? Walk through, walk through walk through. So we recognize and we acknowledge that it's very important for us to get really clear at this time of the year about what we want. Not what we don't want. We never, ever, ever talk about what we don't want. Why? Because we'll focus on it. And when we focus on it, whatever we focus on, we draw to us. The law of attraction is always drawing to us what we're focusing on. That's setting a cause. The effect is seeing the results in your mind. And then when you see it in your mind, you see it, it manifests for the outside world. <coughs> when it manifests for the outside world, you see the dollars coming in, you see the gigs coming in, you see the new clients coming in, you see the sales being made, you see the travel coming, you see all the things that you want. You have to get very specific. Very, very specific. You have to decide. How do I want this to look? Now it may not look the way you put out for it to look. There is, however, a, a, a really um, a positive force that works for you when you do get into the details of it. Because you'll get details, they may be similar, but they will be there. When you script, you embellish on what it is you want. This is different than goal setting. For years I set, set goal setting. And goal setting was go out, make it happen. Go make it happen, make it happen Maureen, just go make it happen. And, and I was working with companies, corporations, real estate people, all kinds of sales. And today we know that you got a contrast of energy when you're trying to make something happen. A contrast of energy. When we go ahead and put it out there in a soft and wonderful way, the energy has no contrast of, 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 of for, uh, energy coming back to it, so it's smoothly going to flow. Don't we say we want to be in the flow? I want to be in the flow. Now, I was chatting with David, and David said, you know, I found out that if I stop scripting for a couple of weeks, the energy uses itself up, and then it seems everything goes flat. And the truth is that you have to script nearly every day. Now, I've been scripting for 33 years. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. 
It's something that I do that can take as much as two minutes. It is something that I can do in between a Jay Leno commercial. It's something that I can do when I feel I've got a lot of time, like I did New Year's Eve night, and sit there and spend an hour scripting, page after page after page after page. There are times where I take my scripting book and I script nothing but gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There are times when I sit there and I just give praise. Praise to God, praise to the world, praise to the dogs, the cats, the flowers, everything, praise, praise, praise. There are times where I feel spirit coming in and I'm very serious about my scripting. And there are times when I script and I don't even remember what I scripted. And I might script about the same thing a week later and I've forgotten that I'd scripted it. There are times when I'm very diligent about every word and other times where I feel like I'm not even writing this. God's writing it, Spirit's writing it, some other force is writing it. Have you seen that? So you find that scripting is, doesn't get boring because it's not the same all the time. And people say, well, what am I gonna say? What do I write? Well, if you don't know what to write, just write income comes in. I mean, what's better than that? <laughs> but no, you can write a whole new image about yourself, who you are. You can write that you're spiritually based, that divine order is, a, is working in and through your life, that you are one with God and God is one with you. And good things come to you easily and effortlessly. You can write about whatever, and you can even script about your children, about your family, about other people. I scripted that we would have a wonderful New Year's Eve.